when I was in college, I found the mathematics course much more interesting than the painting courses. One of the uh, questions that the mathematician Max Bain uh, posited was, what is an object? For a mathematician, an object is an equation. For a writer, it's a word. What is it for an artist? I began to think about that, think, feel about that, what that meant. It took a long time to understand that what I was doing, what I wanted to do, was transpose an abstract thought mathematically into a physical object. This is some work that I'm talking to my mathematics friend, Truman, uh, Truman McHenry, uh, who actually lives in Canada. Knot theory is very interesting. It's something that around the 1800s, the physicists came up with and they abandoned it, but the mathematicians took it up because nobody really understands what energy is. And why knot theory is interesting to mathematicians is that where the knots overlap and make a knot, that's where the energy lies. And what makes energy? You know, that's one of those those tick questions that fascinates me. I don't imagine these would be ready to show in an exhibition for two or three years. I hope that my work is also metaphysical. <laughs> I, 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 you know, it's mathematical, but it I hope gets to a, a non-verbalized dimension that one feels in their soul. This is a maquette for the work Folded Skies, an homage to Colin Powell that was recently installed in the American Embassy in Jamaica. It depicts the nighttime sky over Jamaica on the night that Colin Powell was born and it also takes into account a lot of sky paintings throughout the history of art. And I knew that I would always use the Egyptian ram's head because the source of our civilization seems to have come from Africa. Uh, but when I looked it up, I was very interested that the, it indicates a soldier who is peace-loving, which is him. <laughs> April 5th, 1935 is the date of his birth. I don't know where all that comes from. That's the medical, physical part that I don't understand. I'm bad at time, but sometime in the early 80s and it's a work called Ecstasy and I suddenly had a, an emotional demand to put in to not do higher mathematics but to put into effect all the work all the training I'd had at Ecole de Beaux-Arts which was extensive 300 years behind the time and marvelous I had to grind my own pigments I had to I really learned how to paint this is kind of takes into account all of that kind of learning. You know, it's, it's hard to do a matte surface in oil and maintain matte. It is mathematical in that it's uh, a layered painting. It's two layers and each, each canvas, the canvas while it's underneath, it's still completely painted from top to bottom. I've always been uh, trying to confront Renaissance perspective because it seems to me that Renaissance perspective deals with illusion. And for me, there's a certain uh, discomfort, almost dishonesty in that. And so I was trying to deal with another kind of perspective. There's something about women of my generation were trained to be passive, and I'm not. The way I think about it comes from, you know, diverse places, the wonder of being alive and of living in a world that's so beautiful. The whole idea of what is the universe and or universes and trying to understand what makes the world, the universe tick. The only thing I ever wanted to do was paint. 